Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you my new favorite way to refresh my hair. And if you read the title, you already know what that is, but we're going to be using this bad boy and we're going to refresh my hair. I'm talking about it a lot on my Instagram. So I thought I would show you guys here. My hair actually isn't looking that bad. And so I was like, should I wait till tomorrow so I can show you like a more crazy transformation? But um, I do want to refresh my hair today and I was like, I might as well just film it. So again, my hair is not looking bad, but I definitely think it needs a refresh. I think I actually filmed this wash day. I tried products from Trey Lux. You can kind of see them right there. Uh, I tried some products from Trey Lux and uh, this is that same wash day. So uh, if you want to see this on day one, you can go check that video out and I think you should. I'm going to be using uh, the Trey Lux products to refresh just so that because I am testing them out right now, so I want to be consistent, you know, except I am going to put the Bounce Curl hairspray in my roots because I need hairspray in my roots and they don't have a hairspray. So anyway, yeah, so it's holding up really, really well, but I definitely do need to refresh it a little bit. So I actually do have like a pretty cr crazy transformation I'll put on the screen right now, probably right here of, um, I posted this on my Instagram and it was a transformation I did with steam. This, I, you guys, oops. I'm completely shocked every time I use this how drastic of a difference it makes like genuinely my hair can be so wonky so like my curls are look like a right angle and somehow like it completely fixes it it's so amazing I just want to talk about the actual science of steam refreshing why it works and then we'll get into refreshing my hair so your hair is made up of a bunch of bonds and one of them is hydrogen bonds your hair is made out of salt bonds hydrogen bonds and disulfide bonds that's from weakest to strongest so salt is the weakest hydrogen is the second strongest slash weakest and then disulfide is the strongest and the hardest to break so salt bonds will break when you anytime your ph changes in your hair so shampoo any products that change the ph of your hair at all your salt bonds are going to break and then reform when your pH returns to a natural level. And that's why it's really helpful to use pH balanced shampoos and conditioners. My favorites are from K18. So your hydrogen bonds are broken every single time your hair is wet or there is some sort of heat on your hair. So hydrogen bonds are how you temporarily change the shape of the hair. So i.e. straightening your curls or using a curling iron or when your hair is straight and you wet it and it goes back curly, that's because the hydrogen bonds are broken and they're being reformed in their natural texture, being curly. That's also why people who do heatless curls, if you spray a little bit of water, it breaks those hydrogen bonds and then when they reform as your hair dries, it's in a different shape. So that helps to keep the heatless curls a little bit stronger and set them a little bit more. Um, and then disulfide bonds are only broken through perms, relaxers, if you over process your hair, things like that. So you need a chemical to break the disulfide bonds. But anyway, we're gonna be focusing on hydrogen bonds today. So when you refresh your hair, let's pull out a pretty wonky looking curl here. <laughs> okay, look at this guy, what is happening here? I could not put an oil on this and fix it because the problem is this shape of the curl. It's not the frizz. If I was just worried about frizz, I could just glaze over an oil or glaze over a serum or a cream or a product like that to help with the frizz. But since the problem here is the shape of the curl, nothing will fix this except for heat or water. And so when you refresh your hair and you're wanting to fix wonky curls, you either have to spray them with water, spray them with a refresh spray, or a foam maybe that has a lot of water in it to break those hydrogen bonds to fix the shape of the hair. But that's really annoying to have to wet your entire hair or wet a bunch of pieces and then have to dry them. And then they always dry looking different than the rest of your hair because the rest of your hair is a little bit frizzy and worn because it's day two or three. But then this one curl looks like super perfect and it just sticks out looks producty and strange and so i've just never liked having to wet my hair to refresh it but i always do because there's nothing you can do about this that's where steam comes in and why steam is so amazing so not only does it open the cuticle of your hair allowing the steam to get in deeper but even if you're like deep conditioning allows the deep conditioner to get into your hair strand deeper so powerful in breaking those hydrogen bonds because steam is water obviously but it's also opening up the cuticle so much more easily penetrated into the hair strand than just spraying water on it. It also, you don't have to dry your hair necessarily after because it's not soaking wet. That's why steam works is because it is breaking those hydrogen bonds without soaking your hair and you're able to reshape 
your curls without having to diffuse them dry again or completely sopping your entire head like it is just amazing also have you noticed that when you are in humidity some people with curly hair are very terrified of humidity because it can completely ruin your wash day and sometimes that is the case but sometimes humidity for me makes my hair so much more voluminous just so much more movement it's just my hair is so much bigger and so sometimes i like i like the look of my hair after humidity and so for me this is sort of like a controlled humidity machine you know like even on wash day sometimes if i want more volume i'll just steam my hair really quick shake it out in the steam and then it's almost like a controlled environment of just adding a little bit of the effect that humidity can give without it being too much so I love the steamer as you can tell it's freaking amazing and so underused in the curly hair community steam is your best friend so this is what I use I use a facial steamer before I had this I would literally every time I took a shower and there's all that steam in the room take my hair out of my shower cap and I just shake it around and I scrunch it and I just literally will just sit there going like this shaking it around letting that steam soak into my curls makes such a difference so it got to the point where I would literally take the shower in the hottest setting, close the door, let steam accumulate for like two or three minutes, turn the shower off, and then go in there and shake my hair out. So I was like, okay, this is enough. I need to just buy a steamer. So I got this facial steamer. Love it. I love it so much. I will link it down below. I've got it on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, I feel like if you have a closed steamer, maybe you could use that, but I feel like that might be too hot. I like the fact that this is a facial steamer because I know that it's not going to be too hot because they're expecting it to be on your face so um you don't want it to be like scolding hot so yeah this is what i've been using and i love it so i will link it down below yeah. but again there's other ways to get steam so if you just want to go every time you take a shower if you want to start shaking your curls out and actually taking advantage of that steam in the room instead of just getting out of the room immediately or boil some water i guess you could do that too and <laughs> just kind of like put your hair over there but um this is definitely the easiest option for sure steam comes out so quickly it heats up really fast but again every time i shower i still do shake my hair out and everything like that just utilize the steam in your life in the various areas if you're boiling some pasta maybe stick your hair over i don't know <laughs> okay, so that's that on that warnings if you don't have good amount of hold product in your hair steam could make it obviously frizzier it's kind of like humidity so it's like if you go outside in a humid environment and you just have a leave-in conditioner or a cream scrunched into your hair, it's probably going to get pretty frizzy. So I would just make sure that you have a good amount of hold already in your hair or you can glaze over a little bit more hold, which I like to do as well, before you steam just to have that extra layer of protection. That's my whole spiel. I'm now going to just show you like a close-up of my hair so that you can see the difference once we're done. So, um... Obviously, we have this guy, and I'm going to show you how I finger roll with the steamer using this guy. Um, let me see. Let me get close up so y'all can really see what's going on. Um, I definitely have some, like, wonky pieces in here as well. Just some general, like, frizziness and, um, like, you see this one. It just looks kind of strange. Yeah, it just needs a little bit... Of help. The first thing I'm actually going to do is separate my curls. So I'm just pinning this up here. <laughs> so you can just sort of look at your hair and find the clumps and pull them apart, but it's also nice to be able to like separate it out and make sure that you really get in there, especially when your hair is super clumped together. Like my curls are very clumped, so I definitely want to be able to get in there. <laughs> Make sure that you're um, separating to the root as well. Um, you don't want to just separate the ends. You want to get all the way to the root. The reason I like to separate my curls is there's just so much more movement and so much more volume. Pretty much just like when you curl your hair and you have them in those big clumps. Um, if you like go to flip your hair around or anything, like you have giant clumps of hair flying everywhere and it just doesn't have the same amount of movement because each of those clumps is so heavy. This clump right now is so, do you see this? It's giant, it's so heavy. And so it's not gonna have any volume. It's not gonna wanna move around very much. And it looks a little bit too polished. And so just a little bit unnatural to me. Now I still do like clumps obviously, but I like to be able to separate them out and I don't want them to be too big. So if you don't have clumps to begin with, then when you separate them, they're just stringy. But if you do have clumps to begin with, then you're left with a bunch of tiny 
little curls that are, you know, clumped together and look good. I feel like you can already see how much more voluminous that's looking. Let's take down this section. I'm just gonna let the whole thing down and I'm gonna split it down the middle so it's a little bit easier to keep track of. Like, look at this all clumped together. <laughs> You know, you can see the pieces that are needing a little bit of refreshing as I start to unclump them. They're hiding within clumps that look pretty decent, but then as soon as you start pulling them apart, you see all those pieces that need refreshing. And you don't want to break up the clumps too much because then you're just going to have frizz, really. Um, your curls have to be clumped together for you to be able to tell that they're a curl and not just a random hair strand. So um, you don't want to break them up too much, but this is way too big. And these clumps can be as big or as small as you want. It all comes down to preference. And your hair will usually tell you where it kind of wants to be. So if I look at like this, you can see where that break is and I just help it separate itself. You can see where all the individual curls are wanting to separate. And you can do this with a foam in your hands as well. That can really help with frizz. Okay, so we are now fully separated for the most part. Um, and you already see how much bigger my hair is and how much more movement is in it. It just looks so much more light light and airy and I can just flip it around so much easier um, because I'm not pulling like a bunch of giant clumps around and so they don't know how to sit when you move them like tinier clumps just sit so much better step and refreshing is done now I'm gonna go in with the Trelux reflex <laughs> curl styling serum and I'm just gonna glaze this over my hair I've really been loving this for refreshing because look how watery it is but it adds hold um, so let me stand up real quick. So just glazing over my entire head. I usually do this with a foam or a lightweight gel like this. So this is just added protection for when we start steaming. So as you guys can probably tell, I had a little bit of frizz in my hair when we started. Um, that's kind of why I felt like I needed to refresh as well. I just have a little bit more frizz than normal. So I add a little bit of a hold product just to help out with that. I'm gonna flip my head over and we're gonna get the underside, which I feel like a lot of people neglect the underside, but it's the one that has the most friction against your clothes and stuff, and so it needs the most hold. Just glazing over that area as well. Okay, time to turn the steamer on. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to see. Hold on, I need to get something. Is that better? I'm trying to find a way for you guys to be able to see. Okay, it's been about a minute. As you can see, it's starting to produce steam. Ugh. Okay, camera stopped recording, but we're at about full steam. I wish I could, could I get this higher? I could. I'm gonna stack some boxes. <laughs> Let's put this gel underneath. There you go, that's good enough, I feel like. At first, I'm just letting the steam sort of go over my hair. So, literally just letting the steam move through my hair. And I'm gonna start scrunching. I'm gonna hit this thing. I feel it in my soul. <laughs> then I just start scrunching. right away again so that's cool <laughs> I'm absolutely gonna do that again though this is very hard to get this on camera you can also start smoothing as well there also is a sweet spot you don't want to have it under the steam for too long because again it's like humidity and it's sort of like a controlled environment of humidity and so you don't want too much of that but if you glaze a hold product over and you started with a good amount of hold in your hair to begin with, I really don't worry about it too much. And if you start feeling your hair getting a little bit too frizzy, you can always glaze more product in. <sighs> I almost did it again. 
Now if there's any areas I kind of want to focus on, I just kind of pick it up and focus it on those areas. So I remember, you guys remember through here we had some pretty wonky curls going on. I think we might be out of water because of the spilling fiasco. Yeah, it's looking like we're out of water. Okay, we got the seam going again. So let's tackle this guy. Still got that hook going on. <laughs> this is how I like to refresh specific curls. I'm just gonna place it in front of the steam and sort of like give it a second to penetrate the hair and just get it a little bit wet. Add some foam because there's a lot more water content to these two pieces. Now shake your hair a little bit and if you follow it down, see where it's starting to curl. So it's starting to curl back towards me. If it was going like this, if it was going like that, then we would roll under. But if you follow the curl down, just sort of shake it, it's wanting to curl back this way. So we're gonna roll it in that direction. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll it and hold it in front of the steam. And then we're slowly unrolling while keeping it in front of the steam. And really letting it penetrate each little roll that you do. And there you have it. Way, way better. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good with where we're at. So I'm gonna turn the steamer off. And then um, sometimes I just like to, even though you can very clearly tell that my hair is not wet, um, I still like to diffuse it a little bit because I just feel like it adds a little bit of volume to the hair. I diffuse dry hair sometimes just to add volume. So it's just a little, little bit moist. And so I'm gonna do that and just sort of like really set those curls in and make sure they're dry. I'm gonna diffuse and then I'll be right back and I'll show you the finished results. All right, you guys. Oh, wow. Lighting's not helping this after me. Maybe I should flip my camera this way so you can see. Here we go, we'll go this way. Everything's tangled in here. Here is our finished results. Love it absolutely love it the steamer never fails me and again i don't feel like my hair was in desperate need of a refresh and so you might be like what's even the difference to me crazy difference in person at least and also just the way my hair feels and the way it sits it's not heavy and falling in my face and because of those giant clumps and it's less frizzy as grit to it now it has more body it has more movement i feel like it's much bigger um the curls aren't as wonky looking anymore hook guy is no longer a hook anymore <laughs> so that is my hair refreshed for you guys using my beloved steamer that i've been obsessed with again it's gonna be linked in my bio i do make a small commission off of it if you do choose to purchase through that so if you do choose to use my link to purchase it thank you so much in advance for trusting me and for supporting me absolutely like i'm blown away by the steamer every single freaking time i use it Every time I do hairstyles as well, I'll put a video again here. Every time I do hairstyles, I also refresh my face frame with the steamer the way that I did this little hook piece here. Um, I do it the same way every time. It is foolproof, like way more foolproof than even wetting it down, sopping wet, and then finger rolling it. This is even more foolproof than that for me. So I've just been really obsessed and I'm so happy that I actually sat down and filmed and showed you guys how I've been refreshing my hair. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on my Instagram where I post all the time, all the time. I also post my stories a lot there as well so you can hang out with me a little bit more over there than you can on here. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below um, the air steam emoji. That's all. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you very much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!